Okay, a lot of school gardens, their peak performance is during the summer when school's out. So one way you can extend the growing season is to grow inside the classroom. Not only can you grow year round, but it eliminates the bugs. It eliminates taking a little field trip in the middle of the day that takes time. So you can have inside gardening in your classroom that's easy for the kids to see and maintain. So one, one way you can do this is a grow tent, which you can get online. There's lots of different places. And what you do with the grow tent is this one's only about two feet deep. So it doesn't take up that actually that much classroom space. So I'll show you what's inside the tent. So here we have onions and pepper plants. And these, all of these on the bottom, we actually grew from seed. It's only been about six or seven weeks. So this is actually what you can have in just six or seven weeks. So this originally came with no rack here. We just took some shelving and built another rack because this is so tall and we're not gonna be growing corn or anything. So we're getting double use out of it. We have a light at each level. We started with this light, which is LED, and it has red light and blue light, and you can choose which one you want to use depending on if it's growing or flowering. We just have both on right now. And then down here, we have an LED light that's basically a really long tube, and it equally disperses the light. LED lights are cool to the touch, so you can not have to worry about it catching on fire or burning some kid who's in there working on plants. Some of them actually come with a fan, which is not needed for the LED light, but it helps circulate the air, and that helps keep any fungus from growing, especially when you have a bunch of plants that are on top of each other practically. This is actually not soil. The soil is too heavy, and it would also have, you know, bugs and diseases potentially. This is just potting soil, like you get out of a bag at your local hardware store or big chain store. These are just plastic tubs. These are storage tubs. We didn't go for the high-tech, expensive stuff. These are just like you would find at any big chain store. The cool thing is they're clear, so you can see the roots growing. So this is really uh, educational for the kids. To keep this from getting too full of water, we drilled holes in the bottom, and then we flipped over the lid that comes with the container and made a little water catcher. So you don't have to have expensive stuff. This is just, you know, a few dollars at your local store. Now, the ones up here are covered in aluminum foil, and that is to help keep the light really shiny. It's not like absorbing into the plastic. It's actually bouncing around and keeping light, keeping it really light, because this is not as strong as daylight. A system like this is about two or three hundred dollars depending on how much you spend on the little bins, how much potting soil you put in, what kind of lights you use. So that's more expensive in terms of classroom gardening. For less than a hundred dollars you can start with this setup. This is just again plastic bins with holes drilled in and lids on the bottom to be water catchers. We didn't put as much potting soil in here because we're only growing things with shallow roots. This is just a car sun reflector and that helps reflect more of the sun. We also put aluminum foil in the boxes to also help keep the light reflected. And this is just an LED light that's just sitting over two tubs at once. Now, we're just growing arugula in here and some radishes. Again, just little things that don't take that long because kids don't have much of an attention span, so you want to grow something that's pretty quick. In here, we actually took some seeds from the produce we ate and we're growing them not even from a seed out of a package but from out of the fruit. So in this cup we have seeds from a cherry tomato that we actually just put in there and let grew that you bought at the store. So this is great to show kids where their food comes from, from the very start to the finish, all on the side of a table in your classroom. And it doesn't cost just whatever you have around the house helps offset the cost. So old bins, aluminum foil, the main cost is in the light. All right, for classrooms that really don't have much space or if you really don't have that money, money to work with, for about $25 to $40, you can have this set up. It's just one storage bin. Again, it doesn't have that much potting soil in it, like a half of a bag that you get at your average store. This is just a clamp-on light. It's got an LED light, which has actually come from the motion detector floodlight section of the grocery store. 
and it doesn't have, again, it doesn't have any heat, so it's not going to burn the kids. And we just have arugula and radishes started in here. So depending on your budget, you can actually grow food in your classroom year round. You can spend a few hundred dollars on a setup like this. You can spend 50 to 100 dollars on setups like these. And just for a few feet of space, you can have a convenient garden to actually eat from in your classroom. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.